and we need your nose on. What's up, family? It's your boy Jay Giddens, the father. Um, I'm doing this video because I would like to ask for financial support from anybody out there who might be in position. I'm not asking for a million dollars and shit like, like The Rock did and like uh, Oprah did and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm in a little bit of a position, y'all. Um, and I'll let, Jewel, let me wipe your nose. I'll let y'all know what my position is so you can be comfortable with assisting me if you can, right? So basically, my car is down. My car is my income. That's how I make all my money. You know what I'm saying? And I ran into a situation, you know, my tags are expired. And um, in order for me to get the tags unexpired, my title, which is bad because the person I bought the car from gave me a bad title. Listen, just know there's a bunch of stuff going on with the, with the, with the, the tags being renewed on the car due to the registration because somebody gave me a bad title. Now, I am in the process of resolving this. Y'all might have seen that I did, a vi I did a video on something called a writ of mandamus, which is a document you can file in a district court to have them force the state or uh, state um, local agency, such as the NBA, to give you something, right? So I've submitted all my proof to them that I bought the car, that it's mine and everything, and I'm waiting for that, you know? Um, and they also had a $165 fee that I asked for a waiver for. So I have to wait for the waiver to be approved or denied. And then I have to wait for the process to go through. And while all of this is happening, my bills are still accumulating. You know what I'm saying? And I still have to support my family daily, right? So um, what I would say is um, if anybody is in position to assist me, my, 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 my people out there that normally, you know, uh, watch me that are in support of my family, I just felt like it would be neglectful for me to not at least, you know, make everybody aware. Come here, baby. Uh, make everybody aware of you know what was going on and what the situation was. I mean, because it's not it's not like it's not like life or death. It's not like I'm not gonna make something happen either way, but I just I don't have it. You know, most people when they when they get into a situation like this, they call their mommy, you know what I'm saying? They call their daddy. You know, I don't have neither one of those. I don't have a mother or father. They call their they uncles, their aunties, their cousins, their homegirl, their homeboy, their co-workers, they, you know, I don't have any of those things. So um, a lot of my support comes from online because this is where I pour out my energy. So again, if you are in position to help myself and my family, and I'm not talking about a million dollars, I'm talking about something as, as simple as bus fare. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just so I can make sure to get downtown and get some more bird out and get some stuff for the fam and everything while we, while we survive in this thing. Um, you know, I would greatly appreciate your support. Um, if you would like any proof of my scenario, I don't mind sending that to you or if you want to, I mean, a lot of y'all know me though, you know, I ain't going to lie to you. Um, but, um, yeah, so just reach out to me if you need it back or if you want it back or anything, just let me know so we can set those terms up and just, you know what I'm saying? But right now, um, like I said, I thought it would be, it would be neglectful at this point for me to not, um, at least try, you know what I'm saying? But, um, that's all I got for y'all family. I appreciate everybody who does follow me. I send you positive vibes. Um, I share everything about my life with y'all because I really want to, I really want to use my, my personal experience as a public figure to, to help everybody make sure they not fall into holes that I fall into, including the one I fell into by being scammed on a car that I bought, which has led to me being without work for about two weeks now. And that's a... That's a devastating thing when you have six children. But um, y'all remember to be positive. Be optimistic. Keep positive people in your circle. I got some things in the works. It's just I got I to gotta, I gotta survive until then. It's not about me. It's about the children. If it was me, I wouldn't give a shit. I, I don't need nothing. You know what I'm saying? I could walk around with, with a bottle of water and I'll be good for three days. You know what I mean? But um, yes, baby. Look, she's showing me out. Look, she's showing me out for that. But yeah, that's um that's all I got for y'all. Again, we are we are in a position where um we are and um I'm not gonna say need because I don't like to use the word need, but we we are in a situation where financially things are becoming a little bit rougher, and that's bothering because it's not supposed to be like this. It's only this way because this guy scammed me on this car. But I don't like to point fingers and stuff. I don't like to point fingers and stuff. Right now, I just want to get out of this, and I want my children to not have to. To see or feel it. But y'all remember to be positive. Be optimistic. Keep positive people in your circle. As those three things are key to ensuring positivity is invited in your future. Jay Gens out.